No doubt it's been a day full of news from Capitol Hill. On top of everything else, Governor Lee today very quickly signed into law that bill that would slash the number of Metro Council members here in Nashville in half from 40 down to 20. Well, now at least one Metro Council member, not surprisingly, says a lawsuit is coming. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb shows us what that legal path might look like. Whether it's the General Assembly, whether it's the court, the Supreme News Court. News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo says the legislature's passage of the bill to slash Metro Council from 40 members to 20 sets up an interesting legal challenge. Clearly, the General Assembly has the power to say that it, you can only have 20 council members if you have a population over X. But there's other portions of the legislation that really run afoul to our metropolitan charter in, in 10 different kinds of ways. Leonardo says those other portions include dictating when Metro can hold elections or extending this term of council members by an additional year as the new law demands, setting up a legal battle that could end up all the way at the state Supreme Court. The question is, how do we get there and do we get there before the upcoming general election? That election is set for August with fundraising already underway for seats that the new law says now need to be redistricted. So if you've been raising money, you've been spending money on a, on a, on a seat that's currently a legal seat, what do you do with the money that you've raised? I mean, it, it, once this changes, you're in a real predicament. If Metro sues, the legal challenge will be heard by not just an elected Democrat chancery court judge in Nashville, but by a three-judge panel with two of the judges picked by the state Supreme Court, a body comprised nearly entirely of judges appointed by Republican governors. That's the result of a law passed two years ago by the Republican supermajority in the state legislature. I don't feel like they've stacked the deck in their favor. I 100% for sure know that they've stacked the deck in their favor. But again, it, you know, you see that in politics. Still, as of now, Metro has yet to file a lawsuit against the new law. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.